Hey guys, welcome to Upfront Games, episode 30 or so. Um, happy holidays to everyone. Obviously, we are literally three, four days from Christmas. Um, so, no videos today because everything's already released for the holidays. Um, there isn't really uh, anything that's new uh, that's going to release this week. Um, and that's primarily because everything's released prior to the holidays, so people have time to purchase games. You know, we all get it. Um, but there was a couple things on Xbox Store, but I'm not going to really cover those because none of them were really, um, uh, I won't say worthy, but just wasn't something I wanted to throw in here just kind of in between everything when everybody else had nothing this week. Um, so you can grill me about that later. Anyway, uh, so let's just get into it. It's going to be a lot of just talking from one to the other, and we'll get it done, get it um, uh, uploaded for you, and then move on to next week, which will also have um, a end of the year for like games that we feel should be remade uh, that kind of just fell off the map. So I think that'll be a kind of a cool video. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some uh, videos that I can put in there from those games, so it'd be pretty cool. Um, so stay tuned for that on the 31st. All right, let's jump into it. PlayStation first, uh, Monster Hunter World has time-limited seasonal hunts, unique gear, and Iceborne players can build a snowman until January 5th. Now, one of the cool things that they showed is when you actually do go ahead and build your snowman, you can go to the snowman itself, you and a bunch of friends, gather snow, and have a snowball fight. Um, if you hit somebody enough times, they're saying there's a a snowman head that that person can wear around in in game, um, so that's kind of cool. GT Sport added the Ford GT 17, uh, new GT League rounds, circuit experience, and especially Laguna Seca. Um, this is all part of the 1.53 patch, so make sure you check your GT races because there's two additional races in each series. I think actually the first three, and then there's one additional race in the final series uh, coming from the Laguna Seca uh, track ad. So that's it for PlayStation. Let's move into Xbox. Um, World of Warships have released their holiday update. I would assume this is cross-platform, but it was on the Xbox uh, news that I looked into. Um, so you can now build the Yamato. The last battleship campaign is uh, now active, giving the chance to earn the Jean Bart, and more is coming in 2020. Uh, so there's that from all the warships. Coming to Xbox Game Pass for console, most of them are already live, but in case you missed it, Untitled Goose Game, Life is Strange 2, Episode 5, Pillars of Eternity, and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt are all on Xbox Game Pass. Now, see, I'm kind of old school. I kind of write my stuff down because, you know, I don't like kind of digging into stuff and having like 14 screens up here. Maybe one day I'll just have a tablet sitting here. I can just scroll through it. But for now, I write it down. Anyway, um, let's jump into Nintendo. Uh, Rayark, the developer behind Demo, has announced a sequel is coming. The short teaser video uh, was released. Not a whole lot is known at this time in reference to the game itself. It will be called Demo 2, um, but other than that, um, not really sure. It is a rhythm in, uh, or a rhythm game, so uh, that's coming. Uh, also, back in August, PM Studios and Actil announced that they were going to release a retail copy of Mantis Burn Racing. Uh, it was due to release December 12th. The physical version, however, has not arrived, and that's because it was canceled due to external circumstances that were beyond the company's control. Now, from what I'm seeing, you can still buy the digital edition, and it does have support for English. So, if you still want to get a copy of Mantis Burn Racing, by all means, check that out on the Nintendo eShop. Now moving into Stadia. Stadia now has an achievement system, so they were listening. And anything you've already done will turn into achievements right away when you boot up this, the game. Um, Stadia Save Point is Google's answer to update person, 
personnel, uh, more like just you, the regular consumer, on um, anything that's happened within the system because of the fact that they don't actually have any patching or updates that you were going to see on your side. They're releasing a blog type article that's called Save Point. Um, it looks like it's a live blog, obviously, which is a good place to grab information about patches, etc. And this includes new um, offerings like Borderlands 3, and I think they just released Ghost Recon uh, Breakpoint on Stadia as well. Um, so that is it for this week. We will jump into it next week. Again, happy holidays to everybody out there. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and by all means, share the channel so we can start building towards these giveaways that we want to do um, here at about 50 subscribers. So um, until next week, guys, have a good one and enjoy your holiday. Bye-bye.